Hey, Heather. Um, can I borrow your coffee, actually? Uh, sure. Okay, cool. This is um, pretty interesting. I don't know if I can pull it off, though, but watch. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Try that one more time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. one more what time. Are you doing? Oh, my whoa. It's like possessed. <laughs> Here you go. Wait, I don't want it back. You don't want it back. I'm scared of it. <laughs> Okay, here's the explanation to the floating coffee cup. There are always coffee cups in the office, so this is a really, really good icebreaker. Uh, you need a coffee cup, uh, definitely styrofoam cup, and I'll tell you why. And it could be filled with coffee, but if it's filled with coffee, you want it to be below the halfway mark. Because the secret is, basically, when you take the coffee cup, you, what you're gonna do is you're going to literally poke a hole right into the coffee cup. Right into it, there should be a hole. And to mask that sound, you could uh, cough or you could, uh, you know, whatever, like laugh really loud. I don't know what you want to do. But um, basically, once the thumb is inside the coffee cup, basically what you want to do is you're going to let go of all your fingers. And if you, want, if you want, you can shake a little bit and it looks like it's really, really floating. And make sure your fingers are far away from the cup so I don't think you're holding it anyway. So and a little bit of shaking actually adds to the illusion. You always want, to, always want to grab it before it gets too far, like it's trying to fly away from you. And that's a secret to the floating coffee cup. Have fun.